properties of uh, ghost bacterial cells obtained by hybrid material with silver nanoparticles, as well as their opportunities for use in vaccine prophylaxis. Um, the motto of my presentation is um, a quote from Alexander Dumas Noel, uh, The Three Musketeers, all for one and one for all, united we stand, divided we fall. Uh, you will understand the um, uh, reason for uh, this uh, choice uh, maybe at the end of the presentation. Um, I want uh, to meet you with an idea for uh, using of, um, a special hybrid material um, in receiving of ghost bacterial uh, cells uh, with uh, possibilities for uh, uh, using uh, for vaccine prophylaxis in veterinary medicines. <coughs> That's why I need uh, to uh, introduce you uh, with some um, terms uh, in, from nanotechnology and uh, with results uh, from uh, special hybrid materials. Uh, Actually, nanotechnology emerged as a rapidly growth field with applications in science and technology for production of new materials with dimension from the nanoscale. And um, the improvement of the properties by decreasing the size of the particles is attributed to the increase in the number of active sites on the surface of the material. Larger particles have more inactive sites, which remain actually intact under chemical reactions or external forces. The metal nanoparticles are the most promising because uh, they show, among others, also good antibacterial properties. Silver nanoparticles can be produced by chemical or physical methods surface reservoir for supplying dissolved silver ions with strong bactericidal effects, and because of their small size, can potentially pass through biological membranes. Regardless of the shape, uh, the main characteristic is uh, their concentration of uh, the released uh, silver ions. Incorporation in different polymer structures allows uh, controls over their size, shape, and stabilization. It can be summarized that the toxicity of nanosilver is greater than silver as a whole, and the silver is significantly more toxic uh, than other heavy metals when they are in the form of nanoparticles. Um, this hybrid material is with uh, thermally reduced silver nanoparticles stabilized in polyvinyl alcohol. In the picture, you can see that the average diameter is um, five to six nanometers. And uh, using ultraviolet equis spectroscopy, at these pictures, you can see a peak at uh, 420 nanometers, which uh, characterized the presence of uh, nanoparticles. Uh, this hybrid material, polyvinyl alcohol silver nanoparticles, is well characterized with experimental results from physical chemical, microbiological, and cytological tests. Uh, it was tested uh, nearly 150 bacterial and fungal strains with proved previously resistance to two or more antibiotics, respectively antimycotics. Um, this uh, material can be um, used for produce of ghost candidate vaccine cells. The use of bacterial ghosts is a new and progressive approach for introduction of safe, non-living active vaccines for prevention of wide range of infections uh, veterinary diseases. Actually, uh, ghost vaccines retain its natural outer membrane with strong immunostimulatory lipopolysaccharide structure. <coughs> and um, there is scientific evidence for preparation of bacterial ghost cells by a non-denaturing process through controlled expression of plasmid of lysis gene in gram-negative bacteria. The result is uh, a tunnel formed by specific protein uh, 
which is limited to a small fraction of the total cell surface. Killed containing whole cells vaccines have the advantage of representing the full range of antigenic determinants and disadvantage of the traditional production of non-living vaccine by head treatment, irradiation, or chemical treatment of the pathogen often is the denaturation of significant uh, antigen uh, um, determinants. And uh, as a result, uh, this can be, uh, could be loss of important immunogenic epitopes or lack of complete uh, immunity. A lot of publications are for lethal action of silver nanoparticles on bacteria, fungi, viruses, and parasites. Silver nanoparticles impact on the target object by multiple mechanisms, but the way of killing cells is the formation of pores on their membranes. This is what gives a reason to assume that in the treatment of bacterial cells with the hybrid material, polyvinyl alcohol silver nanoparticles, will produce ghost candidate vaccine cells. On the one hand, the positively charged silver cations associate with negatively charged components of the bacteria. These are cell wall and membrane. And another mechanism of action is penetration of the silver cations inside of the bacterial cell binding to the negatively charged proteins, enzymes, DNA, RNA, or interfere with electron transport, cell division, and cell replication. Uh, silver nanoparticles have uh, activity against fungi and viruses by attaching in an analogous mechanism with the negatively charged parts. The morphic transition of candida albicans from yeast to the micellar form is considered to be responsible for pathogenicity. And silver nanoparticles inhibit the extension and the formation of mycelium by attacking their membranes and thus distort the membrane potential. They steal membrane lipid bilayer, causing outpouring of ion and other materials materials and also formation of pores in distribution of the electric potential of the membrane. Uh, they cause disturbance in the normal process of budding, entering the fungi forming space with a small molecular weight in the center of the fungus. At the picture, you can see by increasing of silver concentration, formation of holes, in the cell walls and pour in the cytoplasmic membrane. The picture is uh, from an article from Lee and co-authors. In vitro microbiological test. For testing of this material, um, we have used the disk diffusion method, the gel dilution method, methods with macro dilutions, chessboard method for testing the presence of synergism with different antibiotics, modified method for testing the presence of synergies with uh, some antimicotics. Uh, at first, the disk diffusion method uh, can uh, actually uh, demonstrate the presence of uh, bac bactericidal activity with uh, uh, presence of inhibition, zones of inhibition. The gas dilution method, very convenient for testing of a large number of uh, strains. Uh, it were used uh, 21 clinical isolates uh, from Staphylococcus pethecus, 24 Escherichia coli, and 26 Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Uh, the tested clinical strains, uh, Staphylococcus aureus and Saprophyticus, were, were with established resistance to six antimicrobial substances minimal inhibitory concentration for all staphylococci was uh, more on equal 24.4 microgram per milliliter. Um, Escherichia coli resistant to 11 antibiotics and Pseudomonas aeruginosa to 8 antibiotics showed minimal um, inhibitory concentration with this material. Uh, more on equal again 24.4 microgram per milliliter. The minimal bactericidal concentration, uh, the most precise uh, method, uh, was uh, used uh, with the method of macro dilution. 
and uh, at first uh, were tested for multi-resistant clinical isolates to uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa isolates from humid and one Escherichia coli uh, also human isolates uh, isolate and Tatinetobacter baumani isolate from an uh, infection in a dog. You can see how resistant they were to different antibiotics, especially the last one. All of them were susceptible to the hybrid material. Uh, one control strain, uh, other 30 Pseudomonas, Klebsiella, and Salmonella clinical strains, again uh, uh, resistant to different antibiotics were tested and uh, showed minimal bactericidal concentration, more on of uh, 0 0.5 milligram per liter. Uh, other uh, uh, sample was used for testing of uh, Sherichia coli O149, uh, 157H7 and uh, Salmonella tifimurium, which are common pathogens in farm animals with huge losses for animal farming. And uh, they show uh, uh, the first uh, two uh, minimal bactericidal concentration at uh, 0 0.05 milligram per liter and uh, the last 0 0.03 milligram per liter. Um, <coughs> this picture demonstrates uh, the experiments. Uh, very labor-intensive. Determination of minimal fungicidal concentration of the tested yeast. Um, at first uh, was uh, used on to um, control strains candida uh, with uh, different values uh, by different uh, species. Uh, the lowest war uh, was uh, by Candida albicans and Candida cruzei, and uh, the highest value was by the most Aspergillus uh, brasiliensis. The fungicidal activity was observed uh, against uh, five clinical strains, uh, Candida strains, uh, but uh, with uh, other uh, values of the minimal fungicidal concentration. You can see this picture. Uh, I found one resistant to silver strain, Candida cruzei, which was uh, resistant uh, at uh, 1,960 milligram per liter silver concentration. Other four clinical Candida strains were tested um, but the used uh, method was another, which uh, guaranteed the submission of 10 uh, afraid 5 and 10 to afraid 6 coniformic unit per milliliter, uh, which are added to the, suspen uh, to the suspension. And the minimal fungicidal concentration for all of them was defined as less than 0 0.27 milligram per liter. The chess bore method was used for testing the, present, uh, uh, the presence of synergism in combining the hybrid material with uh, piperacillin and cefepin and uh, with uh, ceftazidim. In first case, uh, we established uh, that self-administered the hybrid material has a high antibacterial activity. And in the second uh, case, we uh, established um, according to the UCAS rules, uh, the, uh, that the combined effect can be reported as synergism. Uh, presence of synergism, we um, showed uh, actually um, by using of um, the commercial product ATB fungus in experiment with uh, the hybrid material and uh, synergistic effect was observed even for this Candida cruzei silver resistant strain uh, when it was used singularly. Specified minimal bactericidal concentration and some evidence of therapeutically efficiency 
can determine the nearest appropriate range of uh, their application at given silver concentration. The growth of all tested with the sample uh, cell lines was suppressed in a dose-dependent manner, and uh, actually the hybrid material was established as non-cytotoxic when uh, he, uh, it was uh, tested in these uh, cell lines. Um, this uh, gives us a reason to come uh, to some in vivo experiments as a dermal cytotoxicity test uh, where the hybrid material was uh, uh, established as non-toxic in the enclosed concentration, 30 milligram per liter. It was used as inactivator of a bacterial strain, uh, Sherichia coli O104. Uh, and uh, as uh, uh, in process uh, of preparation uh, of antigen for immunization of rabbits. Um, the hybrid material was used as also as preservative of the obtained in consequence of immunization hyperimmune serum, antiserum, and before uh, to be added to the this antiserum, it was enrolled in antigenicity. Uh, antigenicity studies uh, in diffusion of Uftaloni. You can see his, here, the line uh, for immunoprecipitation, which uh, indicates certain antigenic activity and uh, can, uh, and gives uh, us a reason to uh, to stand the question if uh, the hybrid material has uh, some uh, um, properties as uh, adjuvant. Uh, given that it is a complex compound having a molecular weight uh, only of polyvinyl alcohol um, over 20,000 uh, Daltons, and we know that uh, molecular weight uh, above uh, 6,000 Daltons uh, is accepted as uh, immunogenic, the particles. Um, and uh, this is actually um, uh, can uh, uh, be um, questioned uh, that the hybrid material uh, has adjuvant properties. Killed vaccines induce a strong polyclonal immune response and immunity tends as a result of built-in adjuvants. The more purified they are, the weaker the immune response is and stimulate greater number of required immunization, which uh, raises, of course, the cost uh, of the vaccine. And uh, some vet veterinary experience Hybrid material was administered in different silver concentration by a veterinarian for treatment agent in dogs with poor land wound from owls, wound in the earth, cuff, and recurrent otitis. Actually, this work is a, a result from multidisciplinary approach, which is uh, necessary to be reached the main goal, uh, and uh, this is the goal for One Health. Thank you.